what's up you guys now in this video I'm going to be showing you my solo strategy for completing the Razorback event now I use Anaros and this method has been proven to be absolutely efficient I run this thing in five minutes over and over and over again now the main things you need with Anaros is decent strength decent range and medium to okay efficiency you don't have to put a form on in or all of that. You just need to make sure that you have the mods that I'm about to show you now. Now the main mod you need to have on him is Rage so you can convert all the damage that you take straight to energy. Because you're not going to be getting a lot of energy with in But with this Rage mod, you'll definitely get that energy that you need. Still, Fiber is a must because in has an armor ability and this will add to his already uh, armor that he has. Vitality is a must, 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 absolute must. Max that thing out, put that on, you'll get your, your health up to 4620, which is just ridiculous. For strength, go with intensify. For stretch, you want for range, you want transient fortitude for a little bit more strength. And of course, prime flow to max out your energy capacity. Now, what I do here is... I use my Kubro. I use a Horus Kubro because this thing cloaks you and it's very, very effective in the Razorback event. Now, you don't have to have your Kubro decked out the way that I have mine. Mine is six form is deep. Kalel goes strong. But the main mods you need to have on your Kubro are going to be Stalk, which actually cloaks you around enemies. That's an absolute must. The other mod you want to make sure you have on your Kubro since you're playing with the Naros combined is Link Health. And the next one is going to be Link Armor. Now, just in case your Kubro gets down, you want to go with Loyal Companion to give you the extra time to revive your Kubro if needed. Now, this is a setup that I use, and it works for me every time flawlessly. Very few errors. I suggest you do the same. So let's jump into it. Now, when you get into the mission, just do what you always do. Head to, towards the target like an assassination mission. Don't bother yourself killing the enemies and all that. It's just it's just so time consuming. Don't even worry about it. Equip your armor ability for Naros as ultimate. Get your scarab armor on and uh, get it to 100%. Now, any enemies that you come in in your path, you can go ahead and devour those enemies to get your health back up. But it's not a necessity because you'll be devouring a lot of burzers and you'll get back to maximum health in no time. I went ahead and devoured this uh, Eximus because he's just right there in my face, so why not? Now, once you get close to the target, you'll come across the pad that you hack and everything, but you won't be able to hack it normally. You have to use the actual cipher that you crafted to actually give you access to this event. Not an issue. Get to the door. Use your cipher. Continue on. Now, once you get inside of here, this is what makes the Naros so OP when it comes to this challenge. Jump straight up to these levels and just use your devour ability to pull the burzers through the lasers in the in between both of those railings down onto the ground jump down devour 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 now you see my kubro cloaks me the moment that this damn razorback gets close i'm cloaked and i remain cloaked you see the razorback two-step and he has no idea what's going on where i am why is this burza moving no clue the moment you hack the burza jump to the other side of the map because he's going to start smashing the hell out of the burza you want to steer clear of that because those waves will down you once the burza puts him down get your shot off and go to the next burza on both sides of the rooms at the top and each four corners there's burzas in each location so there's four burzas in each corner of the room so you can alternate between sides of which burza is easier for you to pull rather than forcing yourself to play on one side of the map but the process is the same pull the burza through the gap devour the burza hack the burza wait until he actually damages the razorback the razorback goes down and then go ahead and hit him now that burza just jumped to his doom for some reason so just no it's no biggie just turn around his burza is on all four corners pull another one and it's, it's this really, really cool strategy because what happens is, and you'll see in this video what happens is, if the Razorback does not kill the Burzers and he's focusing his fire on me, the Burzers are going to continue to damage him. Now, we can only damage him once he's been down, but the Burzers can continuously damage the Razorback over and over and over again if he does not choose to kill the Burzer. 
which is amazing because if you have two versus out there handling business they could actually essentially kill the Razorback before you even get a chance to get your shot off and you'll see that happen in my video but if it doesn't happen for you just stick to the strategy and you see what I mean about how Inaros becomes so OP on this because you don't you don't even have to worry about hacking the the panels to get through the lasers and then hack the burza it's just too much the devour ability makes you invincible so you can't take damage while you're devouring which is absolutely amazing because that razorback is shooting rockets 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 crazy rockets and they still track you even with your cloak with your kubro so just keep that in mind you want to be very mobile you see how the, the, the rockets are still tracking me it's frustrating now see I didn't have to jump up to the top there because if the birds are standing right in the middle you can pull them from the ground as long as you have decent range on your anaros you don't even have to jump to the top you can pull them from across the screen this area is small enough that you can actually pull the birds without being up top if you don't need to now I got juggled in that corner a little bit so I knew I didn't have enough time to hack my birds and now this could happen to you and I want you to see what to do if this does happen now if you happen to pull a burza and it gets stuck behind the wall don't panic just hack the green panel in front of it and it will release the lasers and then jump over there finish devouring and then hack the burza the burza will still jump down and still damage the razor back as if you have pulled it down to the surface in the first place it's no biggie just just be aware that you don't want to hit those lasers it will juggle you outside and you will fall down into the pit that's surrounding the barrier of this interior you don't want that it's just the pain in the ass getting back up just don't even deal with it and you take electrical damage the entire time you're down there and it hit that razor back as soon as it came down and see I think what the Razorback didn't do is it did not kill the birds now you see the birds are still there's still two in play right now my birds and one that I'm hacking now and that birds is still shooting at the Razorback in the background while I'm devouring this one and he kills the Razorback so I don't even need to hack this one I realized it like holy shit so this is my strategy I hope you guys find this video helpful man play it the same way I play it just remember Use Inaro's second ability to pull the birds of the gap down onto the ground and then continue to devour them. You'll be invincible, so don't worry about the rocket damage and stuff like that. You should remain cloaked if you have a Hurris. I wouldn't suggest bringing a shade or anything like that in there. No sentinels because those the rocket damage will probably one shot your sentinel. So I would suggest you bring an actual Kubro because you can link your health with your Kubro and that thing is going to have more health than you your Kubro is not going to go down it's going to keep you cloaked you can get the Gorgon Wraith blueprint and parts through this event and also all of the puncture mods hope you guys found this video helpful man as usual if you're new to my channel please subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video